Hello again and welcome back to the railway. Uh, no tracks yet, but we're getting there slow but sure. We're making plans. I've now done some stonework and uh, stonework piers on this little raised section here and the roadway ramp up to the top section there where the properties and buildings and stuff's gonna be. I've actually used some 00 stroke HO stoneware, stonework for that and it's a paper one it's an embossed one I found it on eBay in the model railway section in the um, double O gauge section um, it comes in A4 sheets it's like like this it's um it's the texture of um of an uh, um, an embossed wallpaper it's a sort of similar to an embossed wallpaper got it from a guy off eBay um, he's based in Greece but it only took four or five days to turn up and it, it's quite good it comes in A4 sheets works out probably uh, just under a pound a sheet with a postage and everything but uh, I've never used this before and I just make a change from the um, Metcalf stuff and the plastic card uh, Slater's plastic card and stuff like that so but I wanted a stonework finish which which I can weather down a bit and make look really scruffy and industrial so I thought I'd give that a try so far it's worked out okay I've um, primed the the basic formwork with some 50% um, PVA and let it um, dry and then um, I've used PVA to stick it on and that's, uh, that's um, stuck on nicely but I suppose you could use wallpaper paste for that because that's exactly similar type of product uh, you see I've got the hole there for the turntable I'm not going to put the turntable in yet I want to get the stuff round it done first um, but the turntable is going to determine the track layout so um, we, we'll see how we get on but I'm going to do a bit more of this stonework and uh, I'll come back to you a bit later when I've done a bit more here's a view from the end of the canal looking down towards the uh, the tunnel mouth and the turntable I've now finished doing the walls with the stonework paper managed to get all that done got the tunnel mouth finished and I've made a little safety rail in there um, sort of pinched that idea from Richard at Everard Junction he did one like that and it did appear a picture of it did appear in the Hornby magazine I've made that little railing out of an old guard rail from a Hornby turntable and just um, fixed it with some pins and um, painted it white. I've just removed the tunnel building so you can see how, where that little fence is um, and there's one of the guardrails there I've just glued some pins onto the uprights and painted it white and drilled some holes and just slot them in. It's um, The fence is removable and I've just started on the cobblestones there for the pathway under the tunnel. I made a little um, date stone to put on over the tunnel portal. Uh, I've chosen 1805, no particular reason. Uh, just thought mm, it'll do for the period. That just fits. like that it's removable I'm trying to make everything removable uh, just in case I want to change things I'm now doing a little bit of work refurbishing this old Ormby Double O shed um, I've got it set up as a six road shed at the minute I don't know whether or not that's going to be too big um, might have to cut it down to a four lane shed um, I've repainted the sides I've done them with Tamiya TS46 Desert Sand um, if I put an original coloured one on there you'll see what the original colour was like it, it was a little bit light um, not keen on that I know some of the Hornby Double fans might be horrified at me painting the sides but there you go it's my railway um, I've also done the windows I've done them in a dark red colour um, and I've also got uh, some more 6BA 
bolts uh, they're little like set screw type things about 12 millimeters half an inch long um, all the old ones were all, all sort of really scruffy and some of them were seized into the threads in the, the plastic threads in the shed so we've got all new um, little set screws throughout I'll get all that put together and we'll see what it looks like right I've got all that put back together got the windows in and some new glazing I've painted the drain pipes black and just generally tidied the whole thing up a bit that looks a lot better um, I'm still a bit concerned that it might be a bit big as, as a um, six road shed so I think we might have to uh, put that down to a four lane shed but we'll see when I get the track layout done uh, but you can see it looks quite the business um, I'm quite pleased with it so uh, We'll leave this video there for the time being. Um, wish you all a happy new year and I'll put another video up in January. Bye.